Hi, uh, my name is Leanne Hadley, and I'm one of the pastors at Christ Church. It is 7.30, and um, our church has dedicated the next half hour, hour, to prayer. Prayer for our church, prayer for the community, prayer for our nation, prayers for the world. Um, it has been a long journey. This COVID-19 um, was stressful enough, and now it's come to our attention that there, um, uh, with the protest, that racial inequality is far from finished as, um, as a battle that we're fighting. And uh, so we just wanted to set aside some time and pray together tonight. And uh, before we pray, I just... You know, I just wanted to tell you that when I was a little girl, my dad was uh, protesting um, for civil rights. I was born in 1961, and so this must have been in 1967, 1968, because I can remember it. And uh, I remember him coming home from the protest, and sometimes he'd take me with him, but most of the time he'd go alone, and he would come home, and, and he would be so excited about, you know, we're going to end racial inequality in our country and in our world, you know, once and for all. He was so excited. And um, he died almost 20 years ago, still fighting that battle. And um, when this came up, I, I was fragile during COVID-19, as we all are. And then I thought, how? How is this ever going to happen? And I got to tell you, I kind of sunk into a deep place, a kind of a, a dark place. And, um, and I've prayed about this. And... You know, we can all blame ourselves for what went wrong, or we can feel badly that uh, that things haven't moved as quickly as we want. And 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 I I know that all of us like we don't know what to do next and what needs to happen next. And so I'm just glad that we're taking a time to pray. And I just want to share with you my favorite quote, which has kept me going, and it always keeps me going. And it's from Mother Teresa. She said, "You know, we are not called to be successful; we are called to be faithful." And I believe that faithful people are successful people. Um, but I rarely look at, um, at, the, at the successes that are happening in my lives. I, I try to look you know, closely at my own life and say, am I being faithful? And so I think as we pray tonight, perhaps our prayer should be for faithfulness. Because if we are faithful, if we love our neighbor, neighbor the way we're supposed to love our neighbor, and if we love each other the way we're supposed to love each other, and if we remember that we're all children of God, if we're faithful in that, then God will work miracles in our lives and in the lives of our brothers and our sisters, and God's kingdom will come. So um, I have a candle here. I hope you have a candle. I always think it helps to light a candle when you're going to pray at home by yourself or with your family. So I'm going to light this candle. And if you have one, you could light one too, or this can just be our candle. And um, I'm going to leave this candle lit for the next hour in my home. And it's simply going to be a prayer for light, for clarity, and for faithfulness. May we be the faithful people that God calls us to be. Would you please pray as we begin this time of prayer together? Would you pray with me? Lord God, you call us to be light. You call us to be salt. We want to be your children. We want to be change makers. We want to be people that love as you would have us love. And yet it's difficult and we fail and it's hard and we don't know what to do. So here we are being faithful. Show us the way. Bring us your peace and your goodness and help us to become and to do and to say whatever it is you would have us become, whatever it is you would have us say, and whatever it is you would have us do. But tonight, we pray. We open our hearts and our minds to you, to your love, to your guidance, and to your vision. We pray this in the name of Christ. Amen. Now, I don't know what you will do in the next hour or so. I'm going to just be still. I have a journal that I like to write in, and I'm going to draw some pictures. Um, whatever you do in the next hour, just remember that we have a God of peace and a God of love and a God of justice who will show us the way as we go forward. Thank you for beginning this time of prayer with me. May God
God bless you, keep you, and inspire you. Amen.